Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about creating an equipment mailbox. So equipment mailbox is like a real mailbox we have created before in the Exchange Server series video. And this is very much similar, for example, you are in the organization, in a big organization where you have to uh, do a meetings. And in the meeting you need equipments like printers, projectors, uh, which is which is essential but since that printer belong to the uh, one group for example is for the account section and if account section only have the one printer out of 20 people then you have to take a take a request off you have to ask from the admin that whether uh, they are free with the printer or not or whether they are allowing the printer or not so in that case uh, it will be an entire mess of when you start using so in that case uh, since we are going to create that because these mailbox uh, users are anyhow will be disabled in the domain but we create a mailbox and might be that difference is there might be there is a uh, users maybe the admin section itself going to use that real mailbox or uh, the the particular equipment mailbox that is totally up to the admin section so i'm just create going to create a new mailbox and this is what the new mailbox is and it's very similar to what we created user mailbox room mailbox equipment mailbox again the user will be disabled if not the active user but the mailbox will be there so whatever according to the company wherever they treat uh, the equipment mailbox now this is what you're going to create is the new mailbox that is totally uh the new mailbox it will be so we're going to do next and the specify the organizational unit as i take in the example the for example that particular equipment is belongs to the group like a con section so you can provide that right here i'm using that so once i go with the browse option it, it's searching the organizational unit of the server so i get find it it's accounts okay so now the name uh, what are you going to for example if i'm creating the equipment uh, mailbox for a printer so as i said the printer one for example i named it printer one and the login name as well printer one so i just named it a logon name is printer one and the password so i'm confirming the password as well now next okay whatever alias you want to name it for example say uh, pointer one itself alias that is a database record and you can uh, assign any particular database records that this particular this particular mailbox or printer will use the mailbox so you can do that so i don't know searching and you can assign that according to it once it will find it out the mailbox database so you can assign so there are three databases out there i selecting for example md1 okay next i set archive settings say so continue with next and we're creating the new user so might take some time to create but that will not take too much time to create the mailbox so it is done with so we just created a new equipment mailbox the command is also changed you can see check it out in the summary as well so hope you learned something about uh, creating an equipment mailbox that required important some time to uh, if you if your environment requires that so this is how you can create an equipment mailbox hope you learned something from it